name is Sydney Gillen. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm a professional bodybuilder. I started going to shows when I was six. And then when I turned 13, I was like, hey, I want to do that because it had all the rhinestones and the heels. And I was just like, that just matches me. It's like a sport and like still like super prissy at the same time, which blends me together pretty well. I'm doing my post-bac pre-med program at Georgia State. And then once I get all my pre-med requirements done, I'll go to med school. I want to be the trainer for the Falcons. That would be the ultimate job. <laughs> I've come from all different backgrounds. I've met so many different types of people, especially coming from Georgia. So I have my Southern feel for everybody, and I still have my manners, so that helps a lot too. But then going to college in Philly really broadened my horizons. I feel like they will absolutely peg me as a physical threat. And immediately off that, everybody does it. Even the guys, the girls, it doesn't matter. They all just already know, like, she is somebody that I need to watch out for. I tend to not really like girls too much, because people can just be petty. I, I like... The women that I like have a certain type, and they're all very assertive and have what psychology tests would consider masculine quality. So unless you're like that, I, I probably won't. <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with lots of tears, all that extra little extra stuff. I can't do it. I feel like I'm gonna take it upon myself to be the main person up in the ocean, <laughs> finding me some sea urchins. And like, if you don't want to eat, I'm gonna eat. You can stay on the beach if you want to, but if I find this food, don't think you're gonna be eating none. I would say there's not a lot of things. Sydney wouldn't do, but I have alter egos who might do more than Sydney would. There's one named Rebecca. Rebecca is a more refined Sydney. Rebecca is a person who goes to my interviews, meets with my teacher. She's more of a, she enunciates every word. She's very, she's way more polished. We'll say that. Then I developed Storm. I had to develop Storm the other day because I was like, if you're really going to make it through, you just got to it up. But that's just what it is. So I decided Storm is going to be the person that's just super conniving, just does whatever the hell she wants to do. But I feel like I'm getting back into a corner. Oh, I'm coming out slinging. I'm a psychology major, so in those studies, we had a study where it's like, if you're not technically the person to blame, you could care less. So I was like, well, it's not Sydney doing it, it's Storm.